going on guys? It's Kyle and Josh from Colossus Fitness. We're out here with our buddy Adam Evans. And we're going to be doing a little experiment and a little review for you guys with the slingshot. Now this thing boasts to help increase your bench by about 10% when you're using it. And it's going to allow you to play around with heavier weight that you never use. This is going to be Adam's first time trying it. New. So uh, you're going to get an unbiased review. We're going to see what he thinks of it. We'll explain how it works a bit and we'll let you guys know if we like it. Yeah. Keep in mind this is the level one slingshot. There are four different levels. This is my buddies. I haven't bought one. They're not paying us. They don't know we're making this video. Yeah. So I tried good. it for the first time the other day too and uh, we'll update you guys with that after. Yeah. If it goes well, I might pick one up myself. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's the test round. What is going on guys? So on this very day we filmed a bunch of videos for you. Um, head over to Adam's channel, be sure to sub to him. You can check the bio for the link to our videos that we made with him. So here we started with a little warm up. Um, we tossed on a plate which isn't filmed. We went to two plates um, <clears throat> and worked our way up from there to try the slingshot out. The slingshot is actually made by Mark Bell. A lot of you guys probably know who he is. Who has a bunch of other awesome products. And it's used to, used to often um, work around and through injuries, you're going to be able to handle more weight, do more reps, and do more sets. So it's often used also to do push-ups. I've seen it done with a lot, but I've never tried it. Um, you know, when you're doing a push-up with a slingshot on, it'll help support your body with the correct range of motion. And again, you'll be able to handle more reps. Oops. All right, guys, we do it for the fans. We're making our boy Adam over here. He's going to try hitting what's close to a PR, maybe a little bit less. It'll be his first time trying the slingshot, so let's hope we don't kill him. <laughs> so it's my understanding that there's different sizes. I don't even know what size it is, it's not even mine. But you just slide it up here, you want to get it right up to your shoulder. Right nice and high. So the way it works is the elasticity will expand on the way down and it will kind of help you bounce right back up. We're going to do some as you touch and go for the fun of it. We'll see, I have done it before, but let's we'll see how it goes today. So Eric Spotto, another um, big name in powerlifting, and he started incorporating the slingshot into his routine, and he now has 722 pound bench press done raw. Um, for example, if you do 300 pounds and you put the slingshot on, you can usually handle it for, handle it for three to five reps. All right, so I'm gonna try the slingshot for the first time. I haven't done it, but uh, let's give it a go. Hopefully I put it on right. He's got it. Roll it up as far as you can, yeah. yeah. Passing grounds. Yeah. Here we go. Excited? I got <laughs> a little bit. Do you want lift off? Just like, whoop! Yeah, because it's expanding. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice. Making light work of it. Yeah. As you guys can see, Adam killed that set here. Um, the slingshot is said to improve your form and it helps keep your el elbows in closer and you're not putting as much stress on your shoulder. Um, the slingshot is also said that it will allow you to overload by 110%. Alright guys, so you saw the in the gym video of us trying it out. I've been using it probably the longest. I, I played around with it for quite some time, so I probably have the most experience, but it was his first time. And uh, we're just going to run through and tell you our pros and cons of it and how we found it is. So I guess I'll start so I've been using it. Uh, pros, I really like being able to use a heavier weight and to put myself under a load I normally wouldn't be able to support. So I hit three plates pretty easy. I just benched a day or two ago, so normally I wouldn't try that. But today, it's not so bad. It really helps you with that expanding on the bottom. It's just helping you with that portion. My biggest negative, however, is the reliance on it. A lot of people will come in and do weight that they couldn't normally do, and they might get used to this, and then within that you're running issues of becoming like I said, reliant on it. I had a buddy, he was using it for too long, he thought he could lift 275, pretty clean, but when he was benching normally, he was having trouble with 225. So I can find it, it's good for what it is, but it shouldn't be used too often. So I think for me, like it is a big self-esteem boost. It feels nice, like Josh said, to be able to 
lift a bit more than Jack you would. Can. <laughs> but um, I think for me to really notice some gains and uh, improvements, I'll have to start using a bit more. So I plan on incorporating it into my routine a bit. We'll keep you guys updated with that to see really our final thoughts on it as we start to use it into an actual routine. Negative? What? You got any negatives? Um, for the negatives, you don't have to. Yeah, I, I really I haven't used it enough in my opinion. Like aside from the obvious uh, cost, which I don't talk about, um, there's not too many negatives uh, for me. So yeah, for me comparatively, uh, I've done I just did 275 for three with the slinger, and uh, I've done it without. And comparatively, I find that it made it a little bit easier uh, with the slingshot, uh, as Josh was saying, the bottom uh, of the, the movement. Um, other than that, uh, I, I don't know if I would pick one up, mostly because of the cost factor, it's, it's a little bit high. Um, if they were to drop it down or ever put it on sale, I'd consider it, but right now I'm not sure if I'd go to that extent, uh, especially because it's something that should be used as an accessory to your, to your bench and, and not so much, you know, as, as Josh was saying, getting reliant on it. Um, so maybe I might pick one up down the road, but for now I'm just going to hang out and, and wait and see if it goes on sale. <laughs> yeah. I'm there too. 70 bucks is a lot of money. It's something you got to consider, especially for how much you're going to use it. Yeah. It's not an essential yeah. per se, so I personally would classify it as a luxury. Yeah. At the end of the day, all you really need is a bar and some plates and just to do the basic movements to get stronger. Uh, all those little added things, even when it comes to like dietary stuff, like proteins, just eat normal food. So if you just stick to a good solid plan and stay consistent, you don't really need all these extra things on the side. But you know, if you just want to go one now and then, go and pick one up, right? A lot of people could see it as a quick fix, and we're here to tell you it is not that. It is a tool of hundreds of tools that I could use yeah. in different techniques. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by our channel, checking out the review. Be sure to sub to our boy Adam Evans. And sub to us if you're new, just search it up. <laughs> if you're coming from Adam's channel to yeah. over to our channel, be sure to sub to us. We've got sub a lot to everyone. Just yeah. sub, sub everyone. to everyone. Yeah. We've got a lot more great content coming soon with Adam. Um, a bunch of collabs coming. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>